The Highlander's Forbidden Embrace, by Declan Kincaid. Act 1. Clash of Worlds. In the untamed heart of medieval Scotland, where the rugged landscape stretched as far as the eye could behold, there existed a world untethered from time's grasp. This was a place where clans collided like titans, their loyalties etched in blood, and the destiny of one unsuspecting English lady hung in the balance. Lady Eliza, an embodiment of English grace and poise, journeyed through this foreign and hostile terrain. A vision of ethereal beauty, she was a rose amidst thorns, her alabaster skin untouched by the sun's fierce caress, her black-brown tresses cascading like a silken waterfall. The air clung to her like a lover's tender embrace, a harbinger of fate, as she ventured deeper into Scotland's heart, unaware of the tempestuous destiny that awaited her. With each rhythmic hoofbeat of her horse, Lady Eliza ventured further from the familiar comforts of her English home. Her very presence whispered tales of elegance and refinement, a stark contrast to the primal wilderness she now navigated. The vibrant tapestries of her gowns fluttered like banners of defiance against the rough-hewn backdrop of the Scottish landscape. As the sun began its descent, painting the sky with fiery hues of crimson and amber, Lady Eliza's path collided with that of Callum MacLeod, a fierce Scottish warrior. Callum was a man of the highlands, a chiseled embodiment of virility and strength. His raven-black hair cascaded like a midnight waterfall down the powerful arc of his shoulders and his eyes, as deep and mysterious as the locks that dotted the land, held a smoldering intensity. Their encounter was as unexpected as it was fateful, a collision of worlds as different as night and day. Lady Eliza, with her genteel upbringing, had never imagined a world where men like Callum existed. And Callum, a warrior shaped by the unforgiving terrain and centuries-old feuds, had never anticipated crossing paths with a woman of such exquisite beauty and refinement. Their eyes met in that fleeting moment, an electric current passing between them, binding their fates inextricably. Lady Eliza, with her porcelain features and genteel grace, stood as a testament to everything Callum was not. Yet, in her vulnerability, he saw a flicker of strength, an ember of defiance that ignited a fire within him. As sparks flew between their gazes, they both sensed a profound shift in the very fabric of their existence. The clash of their worlds was inevitable, and in the midst of this untamed wilderness, amidst the chaos of warring clans, their destinies entwined in a love story that defied the boundaries of time and tradition. It was a fateful encounter, one that would set their hearts on a perilous journey, where loyalties would be tested, alliances shattered, and their lives forever entangled in a passion that roared like a highland tempest, echoing through the ages. The MacLeod clan's stronghold loomed before Lady Eliza like an ancient fortress carved from the very heart of the Scottish highlands. The fortress's towering stone walls, weathered by centuries of unforgiving winds, stood as a testament to the clan's indomitable spirit. It was a stark contrast to the opulent manners of England, where Lady Eliza had been raised in the lap of luxury. As Lady Eliza was led through the imposing gates of the stronghold, her heart pounded in her chest like a wild stallion seeking freedom. She was now a captive in a world foreign and hostile, her freedom stolen by the very clan she had unwittingly stumbled upon. Laird Ewan MacLeod, a man of imposing stature and steely determination, emerged from the shadows of the stronghold's entrance. His gaze bore into Lady Eliza with an intensity that sent shivers down her spine. In his eyes she saw the wariness of a man who had known treachery all too well, a man who held the fate of her life in his callous hands. Ewan MacLeod's initial distrust of Lady Eliza was palpable. He had seen English nobility before, seen the treacherous games they played, the alliances they formed and shattered. His clan's survival depended on his ability to discern friend from foe, and Lady Eliza was an enigma he could ill afford to ignore. Lady Eliza, however, was no stranger to adversity. Her genteel upbringing had not extinguished the fiery spirit that dwelled within her. As the clan members watched her with wary eyes, she held her chin high, her back straight, refusing to wilt under their scrutiny. Her pride was her armor, and she would not let it be tarnished. 
Despite the hostility of the MacLeod clan, Lady Eliza found herself inexplicably drawn to one member in particular, Callum MacLeod. He moved with the grace of a panther, his every step filled with quiet strength. His eyes, which had met hers in that fateful encounter, held a spark of something she could not define, perhaps defiance, perhaps longing. It was in the stolen glances, the fleeting touches of their hands, that Lady Eliza's growing attraction to Callum blossomed like a forbidden flower in the shadow of the clan's mistrust. She saw past the rough exterior of the warrior, glimpsing a vulnerability that called to her heart. She sensed that beneath the layers of loyalty and duty, there beat a heart that yearned for more, a heart that beat in time with her own. As Lady Eliza's days in captivity turned into weeks, she couldn't help but steal moments alone with Callum. Their whispered conversations, hidden beneath the watchful eyes of the clan, were filled with shared secrets and unspoken desires. In the heart of this harsh and unforgiving world, their connection deepened, defying the boundaries of their feuding clans and sparking a passion that threatened to consume them both. Amidst the stronghold stone walls and the ever-present tension of the MacLeod clan, Lady Eliza and Callum MacLeod found themselves entangled in a forbidden connection that grew stronger with each passing day. Their love, like a wildflower amidst the rocks, bloomed in the face of adversity, setting the stage for a love story that would defy the ages and shake the very foundations of their warring worlds. The night was as dark as a raven's wing, and the highland wilderness whispered secrets only the moon and stars would ever know. Lady Eliza's heart pounded in her chest as she stole away from the confines of the MacLeod clan's stronghold. It was a daring escape, orchestrated with Callum MacLeod, the fierce Scottish warrior who had captured not only her body but also her heart. Their journey into the highland wilderness was fraught with danger, the rugged terrain unforgiving to the uninitiated. Yet, Lady Eliza's determination to be with Callum was a flame that could not be extinguished. Her gown, now torn and soiled, was but a remnant of her former life, a life she had willingly left behind to embrace the unknown. Under the vast expanse of the highland sky, Lady Eliza and Callum MacLeod ventured deeper into the untamed wilderness. The cool night air kissed their flushed cheeks, and the distant howling of wolves served as a haunting serenade to their forbidden love. As they reached a secluded glen, hidden away from prying eyes, Callum spread a blanket upon the ground, a makeshift throne for their clandestine meeting. The stars above, like a thousand diamond pinpricks in the inky canvas of the night, bore witness to their union. Lady Eliza's eyes, usually so demure and guarded, shone with a newfound intensity. She felt like a wildflower, liberated from the confines of a well-manicured garden, her heart opened to the untamed beauty of the highland night. Callum's presence beside her was a magnetic force, drawing her closer with each heartbeat. Beneath the highland stars, they shared secrets that transcended the boundaries of their feuding clans. Lady Eliza spoke of her dreams, her aspirations, and the stifling expectations of English society. Callum, in turn, shared tales of his people, their history, and the unbreakable bonds that tied him to the MacLeod clan. The night held an intoxicating allure, and as they talked, their voices grew softer, their words laced with the promise of something more. A stolen glance, a brush of fingertips, and the air between them crackled with an electric charge. It was a forbidden passion that ignited like a wildfire, consuming them both. As the moon ascended to its zenith, Lady Eliza and Callum MacLeod's shared secrets gave way to shared desires. Their lips met in a fevered kiss, a union of two souls who had found solace in each other's arms amidst the chaos of warring clans. In that stolen moment, beneath the highland stars, their love bloomed like a forbidden flower in the shadow of destiny's cruel hand. The night passed in a haze of passion and longing, and as the first light of dawn painted the sky, Lady Eliza and Callum MacLeod lay entwined, their hearts beating as one. It was the first stirrings of a love that defied the world around them, a love that would set them on a perilous journey where loyalties would be tested, alliances shattered, and their hearts forever entangled in a story that echoed through the ages. With the first rays of dawn casting a golden hue over the MacLeod clan's stronghold, 
Laird Ewan MacLeod commenced his daily routine of overseeing the affairs of his clan. It was meant to be a day of vigilance and unity, but the revelation he was about to uncover would cast a dark shadow over the fortress. Ewan's measured steps echoed through the stone corridors as he made his way to the quarters where Lady Eliza had been held captive. The discovery of her absence struck him with the force of a thunderclap, shattering the fragile peace he had striven to maintain. His brow furrowed deeply with a stormy expression as he surveyed the empty room. The guards stationed outside had failed in their duty, a lapse that would require accountability. Within the walls of the stronghold, tension simmered like a pot of boiling resentment. Clan members exchanged hushed conversations, their eyes filled with suspicion. Loyalties that once seemed unbreakable now hung in a precarious balance, and the very foundation of the clan trembled. Ewan MacLeod, a leader whose authority had seldom been challenged, now faced discord within his own ranks. Some believed Lady Eliza's escape to be an ominous sign, indicative of a misstep in his leadership. Others, loyal to the core, remained steadfast in their support, ready to defend their laird against all detractors. The atmosphere within the stronghold buzzed with unease as Ewan convened a gathering of the clan's elders. Their voices rose in fervent debate, their words honed like blades aimed at the heart of the issue, the English lady who had disrupted their lives. Ewan's resolve to retrieve Lady Eliza remained unswerving. To him, it was a matter of honor and pride, a test of his leadership. He harbored the conviction that her escape was no mere stroke of fortune but a meticulously orchestrated plan. The presence of an Englishwoman, perceived as a potential threat, could not be tolerated in the untamed highlands. With a determined countenance, Ewan outlined his strategy to track down Lady Eliza and return her to the stronghold. He called upon the clan's most proficient trackers and warriors, preparing them for a pursuit that would examine their courage. The fate of the MacLeod clan teetered on the brink, and Ewan would spare no effort to ensure its security. As tension within the stronghold continued to escalate, the clash of loyalties grew more pronounced. Friendships strained, alliances teetered on the precipice, and the essence of clan unity stood threatened. Lady Eliza's escape had become a catalyst for change, setting the stage for an arduous journey where alliances would crumble, and the unyielding power of love would defy insurmountable odds. Within the hallowed stone walls of the MacLeod clan's stronghold, a clandestine romance blossomed, defying the boundaries of their warring worlds. Lady Eliza and Callum MacLeod, two souls who should have been torn asunder by the enmity between their clans, found themselves drawn together with an irresistible force. In the quiet moments stolen away from prying eyes, Lady Eliza and Callum discovered the depth of their love. He was a man of the highlands, shaped by the rugged terrain and the fierce spirit of his clan. She, an English rose, had been brought up in the lap of luxury, her world defined by opulent manners and high society. Yet, their hearts beat as one, forging a connection that defied the very essence of their upbringing. The sparks of their love ignited like a tempestuous highland storm. Their stolen glances held the promise of passion, and a mere brush of fingertips sent electric currents coursing through their veins. They reveled in each other's presence a sanctuary amidst the turmoil of warring clans. Lady Eliza, with her porcelain beauty, became the beacon of light in Callum's tumultuous world. Her laughter, like the sweetest melody, echoed in the depths of his soul. In her, he found a gentleness that had been absent from his life, a tenderness he had never dared to seek amidst the harshness of the highlands. For Lady Eliza, Callum was the embodiment of strength and protection. His chiseled features, his unwavering loyalty to his clan, awakened desires she had never known. In his arms, she found solace from the chaos that surrounded them, and in his eyes, she glimpsed a vulnerability that drew her closer with each passing day. Their love, like a clandestine wildfire, burned brightly in the shadows, hidden from prying eyes. They met in secret, beneath the veil of night, amidst the rugged beauty of the highland wilderness. Their stolen moments were filled with whispered confessions of love, of dreams they dared not speak aloud, and of the overwhelming desire that bound them together. 
yet the weight of their loyalties loomed over them like a shadow. Lady Eliza's heart remained tethered to her English roots, and Callum's duty to the MacLeod clan was an unbreakable chain. They were torn between their hearts and their allegiances, caught in a perilous dance where every step carried the risk of discovery. As Lady Eliza and Callum navigated the treacherous waters of their secret romance, their love deepened with each passing day. They were two souls from opposing worlds, drawn together by an undeniable force, destined to face trials that would test the very limits of their devotion. Amidst the chaos of warring clans, Lady Eliza and Callum MacLeod's love became a beacon of hope, a testament to the enduring power of passion. Their hearts were entwined in a love story that defied the world around them, setting the stage for a journey where loyalties would be tested, alliances shattered, and the strength of their love would be their only salvation. The Highland Wilderness, once a sanctuary for Lady Eliza and Callum's secret love, had become a place of treacherous uncertainties. As the winds whispered through the towering pine trees, they carried with them an ominous foreboding that would shatter the fragile cocoon of passion woven by the two lovers. It was a moonless night, the darkness pierced only by the faint glimmer of stars. Callum MacLeod, ever vigilant, had arranged another secret rendezvous with Lady Eliza. Their hearts ached with longing, each moment apart intensifying the fiery yearning that consumed them. As Lady Eliza ventured deeper into the wilderness, her heart raced with anticipation. The air was thick with the scent of pine, and the only sounds were the rustling leaves and the distant hoot of an owl. She had no inkling that her every move was being watched, her clandestine affair observed by eyes filled with envy and betrayal. A fellow clan member, driven by jealousy and the desire for power, had discovered Lady Eliza's secret meetings with Callum. This vengeful heart saw an opportunity to undermine Laird Ewan MacLeod's leadership by exposing the forbidden love affair. The betrayal, swift and merciless, set into motion a chain of events that would forever alter the course of Lady Eliza's fate. As Lady Eliza and Callum finally reunited beneath the starlit sky, the world seemed to vanish around them. They embraced with an intensity born of longing and desperation, their lips finding solace in each other's warmth. It was a stolen moment of bliss, a sanctuary amidst the chaos that surrounded them. But as their love blazed like a beacon, their fate was sealed by the treacherous actions of their betrayer. Shadows moved silently through the trees, and before they could react, a group of clan warriors emerged from the darkness. Callum, his senses honed by years of survival in the highlands, sensed danger, but it was too late. Lady Eliza was captured her desperate cries echoing through the night. The man she loved fought valiantly to protect her, but outnumbered and overpowered, he was forced to watch as she was torn from his arms. Their separation was a heart-wrenching torment. Lady Eliza's anguished eyes met Callum's, and in that moment, their souls cried out to each other. They were torn apart, their love severed by the cold hand of betrayal. As Lady Eliza was led away into the unknown, her future hung in the balance. She was at the mercy of those who had once been her captors, and the uncertainty of her fate loomed like a dark cloud. The betrayal in the highlands marked a painful end to the first chapter of their tumultuous love story. Lady Eliza's destiny was now uncertain, her heart aching for the man she had come to love with a fervor that defied reason. In the wilderness of medieval Scotland, where clans clashed and loyalties were fiercely guarded, their love story had only just begun, with the promise of trials and tribulations that would test the very limits of their devotion. Act 2. Shattered Alliances Lady Eliza's captivity in the heart of the MacLeod clan's stronghold was a stark contrast to the freedom she had once taken for granted. The confines of her chamber, though comfortable, were now a gilded cage that held her captive, a poignant reminder of the love she had been forced to leave behind. In the solitude of her captivity, Lady Eliza's despair weighed upon her like a heavy cloak. Her spirit, once so vibrant, now withered in the absence of the man she loved. The stone walls that surrounded her seemed to close in, and the air grew heavy with a sense of hopelessness. She longed for the wilderness, the stolen moments with Callum beneath the highland stars 
but they were now distant memories, fading like fragile dreams. Laird Ewan MacLeod, the man responsible for her capture, was a study in conflicted emotions. His stern countenance masked the turmoil within. Though he had been driven by a sense of duty to protect his clan from the perceived threat of Lady Eliza, he couldn't ignore the pain etched in her eyes, the desolation that clung to her like a shadow. Ewan had never anticipated that a captive English lady would awaken such complex feelings within him. Her vulnerability, her stark contrast to the harsh world he inhabited, tugged at something deep within his soul. He had seen her as a potential enemy, a disruptor of the clan's unity, but now he couldn't deny the humanity he saw in her. As days turned into weeks, Lady Eliza's captivity became a point of contention within the clan. Some urge Laird Ewan to treat her with caution, to maintain her as a hostage to ensure the clan's safety. Others question the wisdom of holding a noblewoman in captivity, seeing it as a potential threat to their fragile alliances. It was in this atmosphere of uncertainty that Laird Ewan found himself facing a decision that would shape the fate of both Lady Eliza and the MacLeod clan. He had weighed the risks and benefits, recognizing that her presence was a source of discord within his clan. And it was then that a surprising offer came from an unexpected source. A clan ally, a powerful chieftain from a neighboring territory, reached out to Laird Ewan with an offer of protection and an alliance. He saw Lady Eliza's captivity as an opportunity for the MacLeod clan to strengthen their position and forge new alliances in a time of tumultuous uncertainty. The offer was tempting, and it presented a way out of the impasse that had arisen within the stronghold. Laird Ewan MacLeod, with conflicted emotions and a heavy heart, considered the proposal carefully. Lady Eliza's fate, as well as the destiny of the MacLeod clan, hung in the balance. In the midst of captivity, despair, and uncertainty, Lady Eliza's future remained uncertain. The alliance offered a glimmer of hope, a potential path out of her gilded cage. The choice that Laird Ewan would make in the face of this dilemma would set the stage for a new chapter in their intertwined destinies, where loyalty would be tested, alliances forged, and love would continue to burn, unquenchable, in the shadows. Within the rugged walls of the MacLeod clan's stronghold, tension simmered like a pot of boiling resentment. The revelation of Lady Eliza's captivity had cast a shadow over the clan, igniting a firestorm of discord that threatened to consume them all. As the days passed, the chasm between those who supported her release and those who saw her as a potential threat widened. Callum MacLeod, the fierce Scottish warrior who had fallen in love with Lady Eliza, was relentless in his pursuit of her freedom. He argued passionately that her captivity was a stain on the clan's honor, an injustice that must be rectified. He had watched as Lady Eliza had been torn from his arms, and the ache of their separation had fueled a determination that knew no bounds. Callum's pleas for Lady Eliza's release fell on deaf ears in some quarters of the clan. The fear of betrayal, of her return to the arms of the enemy, was a specter that haunted many. They questioned whether the Englishwoman could truly be trusted, whether her presence within the clan would lead to their downfall. Laird Ewan MacLeod, burdened by the weight of leadership, grappled with his own fears and doubts. He had seen firsthand the discord that had arisen within the clan, the divisions that threatened to tear them apart. His loyalty to the MacLeod clan was unwavering, and he could ill afford to make a decision that might jeopardize their security. The clash of loyalties within the clan intensified, and the air was thick with tension as the fate of Lady Eliza hung in the balance. It was against this backdrop of uncertainty and turmoil that a dramatic confrontation unfolded between Callum and Laird Ewan, a confrontation that would test the very limits of their devotion. In the heart of the stronghold, where stone walls echoed with the whispers of discontent, Callum confronted Laird Ewan with a fervor that matched the Highland Tempest. His eyes blazed with determination, his voice a thunderous declaration of love and justice. He demanded Lady Eliza's release, vowing that he would lay down his life to protect her. Laird Ewan, stoic and resolute, met Callum's impassioned plea with a heavy heart. He understood the warrior's love for Lady Eliza, 
but his duty to the clan was a burden he could not cast aside lightly. He feared that the release of the Englishwoman would fracture the clan irreparably, leading to betrayal and ruin. The confrontation between Callum and Laird Ewan was a battle of wills, a clash between love and duty, honor and security. It was a moment that would shape the destiny of the MacLeod clan, where loyalties would be tested, alliances forged and shattered, and the strength of their love would be pushed to its limits. As tensions continued to rise within the stronghold, Lady Eliza's fate remained uncertain. The clash between those who sought her release and those who feared the consequences of her return set the stage for a perilous journey where love would be a beacon of hope in the darkness, and the choices made in these tumultuous times would echo through the ages. The tensions within the MacLeod clan had reached a boiling point, and the fate of Lady Eliza hung in the balance. The impassioned pleas of Callum MacLeod had moved the clan's elders, leading to a contentious decision that would change the course of their destiny. In a secluded meeting, far from the prying eyes of the clan, a dangerous bargain was struck. Lady Eliza would be released, but not without a cost. The clan had demanded assurances of her loyalty, a pledge that she would not betray them to their enemies. It was a risky agreement, fraught with uncertainty but it was the only way to secure her freedom. As Lady Eliza stepped out of her confinement, her heart raced with a mix of anticipation and trepidation. The stone walls of the stronghold had been her prison, and now she stood at the precipice of a new beginning. The weight of the clan's expectations bore down upon her, and she understood the precariousness of her position. Callum MacLeod, his eyes filled with a mixture of relief and longing, awaited her. Their reunion was charged with an electric intensity, their embrace a testament to the enduring strength of their love. Lady Eliza's tears fell freely as she clung to him, her heart overwhelmed by the depth of their connection. Their passion, rekindled like a smoldering flame, blazed anew. In the secrecy of their stolen moments, they surrendered to the irresistible pull of their desires. Their kisses were fevered, their touches igniting a fire that had never truly extinguished. In each other's arms, they found solace, a sanctuary from the storms that raged around them. But as the flames of their love burned brightly, they were aware of the dangers that lurked. Their love remained a forbidden secret, a dangerous alliance that threatened the very fabric of their clans. They knew that their continued union could jeopardize the fragile peace that had been forged. With a heavy heart and a determined resolve, Callum and Lady Eliza hatched a dangerous plan to protect their love. They would seek refuge in the remote reaches of the highlands, far from the prying eyes of the clans. They would live a life of seclusion, away from the clan politics and the expectations of society. It was a perilous path they had chosen, one that would test their resolve and the depth of their commitment. But in each other's arms, they found the strength to defy the world around them. Their love was a flame that could not be extinguished, a beacon of hope in the midst of chaos. As they embarked on this treacherous journey, Lady Eliza and Callum MacLeod knew that the road ahead would be fraught with challenges. Their love had been born in the shadows, and now it would thrive in the wilderness of the highlands, where loyalty would be tested, alliances shattered, and their hearts forever entangled in a story that defied the ages. In the remote reaches of the highlands, Far from the prying eyes of their clans, Lady Eliza and Callum MacLeod had sought refuge to protect their forbidden love. The rugged terrain and harsh beauty of the wilderness mirrored the tumultuous nature of their union. For a time, it seemed as though their love might flourish in their newfound seclusion. The bond between them deepened, and their stolen moments were filled with a passion that defied reason. But the fragile alliance that had allowed Lady Eliza her freedom and safety now hung by the thinnest of threads, ready to unravel at a moment's notice. Laird Ewan MacLeod, once willing to strike a dangerous bargain for Lady Eliza's release, had grown increasingly suspicious of her absence. He questioned her loyalty and the sincerity of her commitment to the clan's security. The whispers of discontent among the clan members had not gone unnoticed and his fears of betrayal were reignited. As the days turned into weeks, Laird Ewan's doubts festered like a poison, 
and he began to regret the decision that had led to Lady Eliza's release. His loyalty to the MacLeod clan, his responsibility to protect them at all costs, weighed heavily on his mind. He could not shake the feeling that he had made a grave error in judgment. But it was not only Laird Ewan's doubts that threatened the fragile alliance. Betrayal came from unexpected sources. A clan member, once seen as loyal, had secretly communicated with Lady Eliza, revealing the clan's vulnerabilities and the location of her sanctuary. The revelation was a bitter blow, a breach of trust that left Lady Eliza and Callum reeling. As tensions within the MacLeod clan escalated, Laird Ewan found himself at a crossroads. He could no longer ignore the voices of dissent that called for Lady Eliza's return to captivity. The alliance that had once held them together was unraveling before his eyes, and he feared the consequences of inaction. The separation between Callum and Lady Eliza had not been enough to extinguish their love. It burned like a wildfire in their hearts, and they clung to each other with a fierceness born of desperation. Their love was a beacon of hope in the darkness, a sanctuary amidst the chaos that surrounded them. But as their love was tested to its limits— Lady Eliza and Callum knew that their path was fraught with peril. The alliance that had allowed them to be together now threatened to tear them apart. Betrayal and suspicion loomed on all sides, and they were faced with a choice that could lead to their undoing. In the wilds of the highlands, where the rugged landscape mirrored the tumultuous nature of their love, Lady Eliza and Callum MacLeod faced a reckoning. The fragile alliance that had allowed them to be together was on the verge of unraveling, and the choices they made in the midst of this chaos would shape the destiny of their love story, a story that defied the ages and would be remembered for generations to come. With the fragile alliance between Lady Eliza and Laird Ewan MacLeod unraveling, and betrayal lurking in the shadows, Lady Eliza and Callum MacLeod had no choice but to flee deeper into the unforgiving wilderness of the Highlands. Their love, a beacon of hope amidst chaos, had become their only sanctuary. As they ventured into the heart of the highland wilderness, the rugged terrain mirrored the uncertainty of their path. The earth beneath their feet was unforgiving, and the wilderness unfurled before them like an endless labyrinth. Lady Eliza's once delicate hands bore the calluses of their journey, a testament to the hardships they endured. Their escape had not gone unnoticed by their enemies. Those who sought to exploit their love for their own gain pursued them with a relentless determination. Callum's instincts, honed by years of survival in the highlands, were their only shield against danger. With every step they took, they were pursued by the echoes of footsteps and the rustle of underbrush. Their love, once a source of solace, had now become a burden they carried. They were fugitives in a land where loyalty was prized above all else and their desperate choices were born out of necessity. The highland wilderness, with its hidden valleys and treacherous terrain, offered refuge and danger in equal measure. Lady Eliza and Callum were forced to make choices that tested their mettle and their love. They hunted for food, their senses sharpened by the need for survival, and they found shelter in the most unforgiving of places. But as the days turned into weeks, their love faced its greatest trials. The weight of their situation bore down upon them, and the uncertainty of their future threatened to tear them apart. They had no allies, no sanctuary, only each other to rely upon. Their love, a flame that had burned brightly in the shadows, now faced the harshest of storms. It was a love tested by the unforgiving wilderness, by the pursuit of enemies, and by the desperate choices they were forced to make. Their commitment to each other was unwavering but the world around them was relentless in its efforts to tear them apart. In the midst of their desperate choices and the trials that tested the very essence of their love, Lady Eliza and Callum MacLeod clung to each other with a fierce determination. Their love story was one of defiance, a tale of two souls who had dared to defy the world in pursuit of their love. And as they faced the harshest of challenges, their love burned with an intensity that defied reason a love that would forever echo through the ages. The unforgiving wilderness of the highlands bore witness to a love story as timeless as the rugged landscape itself. Lady Eliza and Callum MacLeod, two souls from opposing worlds, 
had fought against all odds to be together. But as they journeyed deeper into the heart of the wilderness, they came face to face with the heart-wrenching truth. Their worlds may never truly align. Their love had been a beacon of hope, a testament to the enduring power of passion, but the challenges that lay ahead seemed insurmountable. With each passing day, the weight of their circumstances bore down upon them, like the unrelenting Scottish rain. The pursuit of their enemies had not waned. Their pursuers were relentless, their determination unwavering. Lady Eliza and Callum were forced to remain on the move, their stolen moments of solace becoming increasingly scarce. The danger that surrounded them was a constant companion, a shadow that loomed over their every choice. And then came the moment they had both dreaded, the heart-wrenching realization that their love was tearing them apart. Lady Eliza's world was one of privilege and aristocracy, where her family's name and her English heritage held a significance she could never deny. Callum, on the other hand, was a highland warrior, shaped by the rugged landscape and the fierce loyalty to his clan. As they sought refuge in the wild, their differences became ever more apparent. Lady Eliza missed the comforts of her former life, the familiarity of her homeland. Callum, in turn, longed for the safety and security of his clan, the camaraderie of his fellow warriors. Their dreams were at odds, their desires pulling them in opposite directions. The heartache they felt was like a dagger in their chests. They loved each other with a passion that defied the world, but the reality of their circumstances was an unyielding barrier. Their love had brought them together in defiance of their worlds, but it was also what threatened to tear them apart. Lady Eliza and Callum found themselves facing seemingly insurmountable odds. Their love story, born in the shadows and tested in the wilderness, hung in the balance. The wilderness of the highlands, with its rugged beauty and unforgiving terrain, had become a symbol of the trials they faced. Their love, though powerful, was not immune to the challenges of their world. It was a love story marked by heartache and sacrifice, a tale of two souls who had dared to defy the world for the sake of their love. And as their story continued to unfold, echoing through the ages, their hearts remained entangled, facing an uncertain future. Act 3. Love Conquers All The winds of destiny had brought Lady Eliza and Callum MacLeod to a crossroads, and as Act 3 began, the stage was set for a climactic showdown that would test the limits of their love. Lady Eliza, once a sheltered English lady, had undergone a transformation in the rugged highlands. Her determination to fight for their love burned like a fire in her soul. She had shed the trappings of her former life embracing the strength and resilience of the woman she had become. No longer content to be a passive observer, she was ready to stand by Callum's side and face whatever challenges lay ahead. Callum, the fierce Scottish warrior, had always known that their love would come at a price. The wilderness had forged him into a formidable protector, and he was prepared to lay down his life to defend Lady Eliza and their love. His bravery on the battlefield was a testament to his unwavering commitment. As the rival clans gathered on the battlefield, the tension in the air was palpable. The clash between them was inevitable, a culmination of long-standing feuds and simmering rivalries. The fate of Lady Eliza and Callum hung in the balance, their love entwined with the destiny of their clans. The battle that ensued was fierce and unrelenting. Swords clashed, arrows flew and the highland war cries echoed through the glen. Lady Eliza, her heart filled with a determination born of love, stood alongside Callum, her spirit unyielding. She had chosen to fight for their love, to defy the world that sought to tear them apart. Callum, with his warrior's prowess, led his clan into the heart of the battle. His bravery on the battlefield was a sight to behold, his swordsmanship a force to be reckoned with. He fought not just for the honor of his clan but for the love that had become the very essence of his existence. The climactic clash between the rival clans was a tumultuous dance of steel and fury. The battle raged on, each side fighting with a fervor that could only be matched by their determination to protect what they held dear. Lady Eliza and Callum, their love a beacon amidst the chaos, fought side by side, their spirits unbroken. 
As the battle raged on, the outcome remained uncertain. Lady Eliza and Callum knew that their love had brought them to this pivotal moment, and they were willing to face whatever challenges lay ahead. Their love story, born in defiance of the world, would be put to the ultimate test. In the crucible of the final battle, Lady Eliza and Callum MacLeod clung to each other with a love that defied the very fabric of reason. Their hearts beat as one, their unwavering spirits standing firm in the face of relentless adversity. The battlefield was both their trial and their testament, and as their love story reached its crescendo, a tale of two souls who had dared to defy the world for the sake of their love, a love with the power to conquer all that stood in its path. The battlefield, once a chaotic maelstrom of clashing swords and war cries, now lay in silence. The aftermath of the battle was a scene of both victory and loss, a testament to the high price of clan honor. As the dust settled and the cries of the fallen faded, Lady Eliza and Callum MacLeod found themselves in the quiet aftermath of the storm. Lady Eliza's heart ached as she surveyed the battlefield. The price of their love had been steep, and both clans had paid dearly for their honor. The losses were a somber reminder of the cost of their defiance, but her determination to be with Callum remained unshaken. In the midst of the fallen, Lady Eliza and Callum's reunion was a bittersweet moment. They had faced the ultimate test of their love, and now, in the aftermath of the battle, they clung to each other with a fervor born of survival. Their embrace was a symbol of their unbreakable bonds, a testament to the enduring power of their love. Tears welled in Lady Eliza's eyes as she held Callum close. The scars of battle marred his rugged features, but to her, he had never been more beautiful. His arms, strong and protective, encircled her, and in that moment, the world around them faded into insignificance. The reconciliation between them was a poignant exchange of words unspoken. Their love had weathered the storms of uncertainty and despair, and now it stood as an unshakable foundation upon which they could build their future. Their hearts, once torn by the forces that sought to tear them apart, had found their way back to each other. Their love, tested in the crucible of the battlefield, proved stronger than ever. It was a love that defied reason, a love that had dared to defy the world for the sake of its own survival. Lady Eliza and Callum MacLeod, their destinies entwined by the threads of fate, knew that their love story was far from over. In the quiet aftermath of the battle, Lady Eliza and Callum forged a new beginning. Their love had conquered the trials that had been thrown in its path and now they were free to live their lives together, unburdened by the shadows of the past. Their love story was one for the ages, a tale of two souls who had dared to defy the world and emerged stronger for it, their bonds unbreakable, their love eternal. In the aftermath of the climactic battle, the highland landscape seemed to exhale a collective sigh of relief. The scars of war would forever mark the land, but amidst the ruins, a new destiny was being forged. Laird Ewan MacLeod, once torn between duty to his clan and his doubts about Lady Eliza, had undergone a profound change of heart. The price of the battle had been high, and the losses had weighed heavily on his conscience. He had seen the strength of Lady Eliza and Callum's love, and it had stirred something within him. Approaching Lady Eliza with humility, he offered an olive branch. The bitter enmity between their clans had run its course and he recognized that their love had the power to heal old wounds. The reformation of alliances was not without its challenges, but it was a step towards a more peaceful future. Lady Eliza, her heart filled with forgiveness, accepted Laird Ewan's gesture. The wounds of the past could not be erased, but they could be mended. She understood the weight of his responsibilities as a leader and respected his willingness to change. Their reconciliation was a symbol of hope, a testament to the transformative power of love. As the clans came together to rebuild and heal, a new future unfolded for Lady Eliza and Callum. Their love, once a source of conflict, was now a beacon of unity. They stood at the forefront of a movement to bridge the divide between their worlds, to prove that love could conquer all. With Laird Ewan's support, they were free to live their lives together without fear of reprisal. Their love story, 
born in defiance and tested by adversity, had the power to inspire others. Lady Eliza and Callum were determined to forge a new destiny, one in which love and loyalty transcended old rivalries. The Highland landscape, scarred by the battles of the past, bore witness to the beginning of a new era. Lady Eliza and Callum, their love stronger than ever, were at the forefront of this change. Their love had dared to defy the world, and now it was reshaping the destiny of the Highlands, a destiny that held the promise of a brighter and more harmonious future. With the wounds of the past healing and the rift between their clans mending, Lady Eliza and Callum MacLeod stood at a crossroads. Their love story, which had defied the world and withstood the trials of warring clans, was now forging a path towards a future that held the promise of a love that transcended time. The decision to build a life together was not made lightly. Lady Eliza, once a sheltered English lady, had embraced the rugged highlands as her own. She had become a part of the fabric of Callum's world, her heart entwined with his, and she had no intention of turning back. Callum, the fierce Scottish warrior, had found in Lady Eliza a love that had transformed his very existence. He had fought for their love on the battlefield, and now he was ready to fight for it in the peaceful days that lay ahead. Their love had proven stronger than the chaos of warring clans, and it was a force that could not be denied. As they looked towards the horizon, they saw a future filled with possibility. The once unthinkable notion of an English lady and a Highland warrior living their lives together had become a reality. Their love story was a testament to the enduring power of passion and the strength of the human spirit. Their love had defied time, transcending the chaos of the past, and now it was a beacon of hope for all who witnessed it. Lady Eliza and Callum were determined to build a life together a life filled with love, laughter, and the promise of a better tomorrow. The Highland landscape, once marred by the battles of old, now bore witness to a love that defied time. Lady Eliza and Callum, their hands entwined, were ready to face the future together, to embrace the challenges and joys that awaited them. Their love story would become a legend in the Highlands, a tale of two souls who had dared to defy the world and emerge stronger for it. As they looked ahead, their hearts filled with hope, they knew that their love was a force that could conquer all, a love that would endure through the ages, a love that defied time itself. The day had dawned with a golden hue, and the rugged highlands bore witness to a joyous celebration that would forever be etched in the memories of those who attended. Lady Eliza and Callum MacLeod, the two souls who had defied the odds and dared to love against all obstacles, were ready to embark on a new chapter of their love story. The Highland wedding was a grand affair, a testament to the reconciliation with the past and the newfound happiness that had blossomed. Clan members from both sides came together in a display of unity that would have been unthinkable not long ago. The bitter rivalries of the past had given way to a shared understanding that love was a force more powerful than any feud. Lady Eliza, radiant in her wedding gown, walked towards Callum with a grace that was the embodiment of the strength she had found in the Highlands. Her family, once resistant to their love, now stood beside her, their hearts filled with the joy of her happiness. The Highland landscape, with its rugged beauty, bore witness to the transformation of an English lady into a proud Highland bride. Callum, resplendent in his clan's traditional attire, waited at the altar with a heart filled with gratitude. He had found in Lady Eliza a love that had transformed his world, and now, as he looked into her eyes, he knew that their love was a force of nature, unyielding and unwavering. His clan, once torn by conflict, now stood as a united front, ready to embrace the future. The wedding vows they exchanged were a testament to their love story, a promise to stand by each other through the trials and triumphs that lay ahead. The words they spoke resonated with the wisdom of souls who had weathered storms and emerged stronger on the other side. As they celebrated their love with the highland revelry that followed, the past was reconciled, and a hopeful and promising future stretched out before them. The highland landscape, scarred by the battles of old, now bore witness to a love that had transcended time and strife. The highland wedding was a symbol of hope, a testament to the enduring power of love. 
Lady Eliza and Callum had defied the world, defied time itself, and emerged victorious. Their love story would become a legend in the Highlands, a tale of two souls who had dared to love against all odds and found their happily ever after in the rugged beauty of the Scottish landscape. As the celebration continued into the night, Lady Eliza and Callum danced under the Highland stars, their hearts filled with joy and gratitude. Their love had conquered all, and their future together held the promise of a happiness that knew no bounds. In the embrace of each other, and the embrace of their clans, they knew that their love was unbreakable, their bond unshakable, and their love story won for the ages. The years flowed like a slow, meandering river, their passage marked by the changing seasons and the countless moments that Lady Eliza and Callum MacLeod shared. And now, as they stood together on the windswept highland cliffs, their love had not only endured but had deepened into a profound testament to the timeless nature of their bond. Their love story, one that had defied the expectations of their respective worlds, transcended not only boundaries but the very limits of time itself. It was an enduring flame that would forever light their path through life's intricate tapestry. Through the years, their love had been tested by the storms of life, trials that had not only tested their mettle but had honed it to a sharp, unyielding edge. The rugged highlands, once a symbol of conflict and chaos, had become their sanctuary, a place where their love could thrive amidst the untamed beauty of the land they both held dear. As they gazed out into the horizon, it was as though they could see the entire journey of their love laid out before them. Lady Eliza, no longer merely an English lady but a proud Highland wife, had fully embraced not only Callum but also the land and the people who had become her own. The transition had been both a surrender and an embrace, and it had transformed her into a woman of strength and resilience. Callum, the fierce Scottish warrior, had found in Lady Eliza a partner in every sense of the word. She had become his confidant, his love, and his equal. Together, they had navigated the complexities of life with a love that was a force of nature, unyielding and unwavering in its devotion. Their love had dared to defy the world's expectations, bridging the seemingly insurmountable gap between their worlds. It had been a love that had stood resolute in the face of adversity, a love that had been their guiding light through the darkest of times. Their story was a testament to the strength of the human spirit and the power of love to transform lives. As they reflected on the timeless nature of their love, it was as though they could hear the echoes of their own story reverberating through the ages. Their love transcended the boundaries of time and place, becoming a tale that would be whispered from generation to generation, a love that would be remembered for centuries to come. In the embrace of each other, and the embrace of the rugged highlands, they found their happily ever after. Their love story was not just a fleeting moment in time but a love story for the ages, one that would forever echo through the annals of history, a love story that defied the odds, transcended boundaries, and stood as a testament to the enduring power of love. If you enjoyed this free audio story, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. This helps the channel greatly, and I will be forever thankful.